the Cloud 3.7 model is insanely good at making user interface for websites. In this video, I'm going to show you my secret rules and workflow to transform one of my sites from this to this. I'm not a UI designer or a front-end developer, and I would even consider myself a beginner in JavaScript. But with this AI-assisted workflow, I can create pretty good-looking user interface for web applications. In fact, anyone can create stunning website by following this workflow. Let's start with the UI design. And first of all, of course we're going to use AI and prompts. And the rule number one is do not use fancy and fluff prompt. If you read these prompts, like I don't even know what the hell this is talking about. And it's just a bunch of empty words. With LLMs, it's always best to be very specific about what exactly we want. Because Cloud 3.7 is multi-modal, meaning that it can process both text and images, so we should leverage its image capabilities. If you know how to design beautiful UI, by all means create your own. You can use Figma or any designing software. But if you are like me and have no artistic DNA, we need a little help from the outside. There are many good UI designs out there, and they have been done, so why reinvent the wheel? We can take inspiration from the many good existing designs available on the internet. So how do we do it? Go on internet and search for UI template. It doesn't matter which site you use, as long as you find a design that you like and fits your needs. In my example, I like this design from Ali on the Dribbble website. Very sleek and clean dashboard. Thank you, Ali, for giving us the inspiration. You might be wondering, well, this is just an image, and that's exactly what we need. Take a screenshot of this image, head back to cursor, and paste the image in, and the magic prompt I'm using is create a financial independent and retire early fire dashboard, taking inspiration from the attached image. And that's it. We don't need to overly decorate the prompt because we use the image as a reference. And because Cloud can see the image, it knows exactly what type of style or color scheme that we're looking for. Also notice that we're not asking AI to create a dashboard that looks exactly like the design from Ali because that would be infringement. We're simply asking AI to create a dashboard with Ali's design as an inspiration. At this stage, unless you know exactly how your UI should look like, I would avoid being too specific. And this will give AI the room to be flexible and sometimes it might even surprise you. I'm also not limiting what framework or libraries Cloud should use. It can use whatever it wants. And I noticed that most of the time, Cloud will just use React and Tailwind CSS by default because of their popularity. Although I don't know React, that's okay as long as they make functional and good looking UI. So we'll sit back and let Cloud cook its magic. Cloud will create a prototype for us, and even if it doesn't create it perfectly, that's fine. We'll help guide Cloud to make changes and fix things later. And this is what we got. I really like it. It has the feel of the design I like, yet it's not 100% copying it. Our reference image has a blackish color scheme, but our dashboard has a blue tone, which I'm okay with. And these sections, or maybe I should call them cards, they look like professionally designed, to be honest. I would never be able to design them myself. The charts are all HTML, and they're not really interactive at all. And some charts are a bit messed up as well, that's okay. We'll be replacing them with some real charts later on. The page is also responsive and mobile friendly. You can resize it, and the content on the page will update accordingly. And the links are there too, and that's actually amazing. I could not believe that Cloud even created these links and all these other pages without us asking for it. And to be honest, this dashboard really looks like designed by a professional. And this is awesome. Now we have our prototype, which is written in React. If you already know React or you want to make a React app, and that's perfect and you can carry on to the next phase. But for me, I only know Vue.js but not React. So I'm going to ask Cloud to convert this React app to Vue.js app while keeping the UI the same look. Of course, you can start the design phase by asking Cloud to make the UI with Vue.js, but I find that the UI looks better in general if you don't specify what framework to use. 
and in most cases cloud will just use react and that makes sense because that's the most popular web development framework and there must be a ton of training data code available for it for the next step once we have the user interface written in our framework of choice we can start fine-tuning it i use the browser tools mcp with cursor because it let me just select an element on the web page and ask cloud to make changes directly without needing to describe what element i'm referring to so for example i don't have to say change the padding for the element that says total net worth i can just select it and say change the padding here and this saves me a ton of time because i don't have to type a lot of unnecessary prompts this dashboard is a project that i previously built so i have the backend already and most of the time and effort was put on the user interface this time so i removed the html static charts and replaced them with interactive graphs i added some emojis to make the retirement planning a little bit more fun and i think this part where you can add the financials it can be improved more but i'll keep it for the next time so this is how i turned my fire planning website from this to this within a few hours without cloud i would never be able to do this fast there you have it my secret workflow to make any ui with cloud hope you find the video helpful and i'll see you next time